Good evening, everyone. My name is Jonathan Garcia, president of the class of 2020. Thank you so much for joining tonight's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of our national anthem. On behalf of the graduating senior class, I wanted to give a huge thanks to everyone for tuning in to tonight's first, and hopefully last, virtual graduation ceremony to celebrate all of our hard work and achievements over the past 13 years. Although these circumstances are not ideal in the slightest bit, that does not take away from everything we have done to make it to this huge milestone, and we all still deserve to be celebrated. With that being said, I want to give recognition to some people who have made it possible for me to make it to this point today. First and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to my parents and siblings for always giving me a purpose to succeed and for always believing in my hopes and aspirations in life. I hope to continue making you guys proud in the future. I also want to give thanks to all the teachers and staff who have made it their ultimate goals to prepare us for life after high school and for passing on their knowledge to educate us. Your dedication to us students has not gone unnoticed. And last but not least, thanks to the class of 2020. Not just for being the best class, but for having enough faith in me these past three years to be a representation of our class and what we stand for. Our class is filled with so many passionate artists, athletes, musicians, procrastinators, and even some of my own best friends. But one thing all of you have in common is that you've all taught me how worthwhile it is to take that leap of faith. You've made me realize my full potential and that is something I'll forever be grateful for. On the list of things I'm grateful for also lies school. Now, hear me out. Let me just tell you about my very exciting school day on March 12th. It went a bit like this. I most likely got up way later than I should have, picked up my daily Duncan, and headed to the high school to start off my day. Now, this was no typical day for many reasons. That day was an 11.30 dismissal. Plus, we had off the next day. Two wins in my agenda. To top things off, we were also going to be seeing a preview of the upcoming school musical, Mamma Mia, which was immaculate, by the way. It couldn't get much better than that. Next thing I knew, school day was over, another day closer to graduation, another day in the books. Most of us probably had a similar day, except the thing is, we were all oblivious of the fact that we had just endured the final day of our high school careers together as a class, unless you were absent, which really stinks. Now, the real sad part isn't the fact that that was our last day of high school ever. Well, that is sad, but the fact that we didn't get to say our final goodbyes and how unprepared we were for our lives to take such a quick turn. Two weeks off turned into a month, which turned into an unknown length of time, and ultimately the rest of our academic school year. And just like that, the senior year we've dreamt of since elementary school came to a halt. You wanna talk about getting the short end of the stick? The class of 2020 could tell you a lot about that. Remember in Riften when we got robbed of the Washington DC trip? I don't know about you, but to me, nothing was really ever the same. 
Maybe I'm being dramatic, but one thing that did remain the same whenever we ran into any issue, big or small, was our ability to be resilient. That resilience stems from our class's competitiveness, our experience of trauma and heartbreak at such young ages, and even our stubbornness at times. Some may look at these aspects as flaws, but that is far from the truth. The so-called real world is bound to test us, as it currently is. But the good thing is that most of us have already been tested endlessly, and time and time again, we have triumphed. When we struggled with our mental health, we triumphed. When we faced the loss of a loved one, we triumphed. And when we didn't think we could handle the pain of our senior year ending short, we looked at the brighter side and we triumphed. Our class is so much more than a sad ending. And I have the utmost confidence that we will all carry this gift of resilience with us, even after this chapter of high school comes to a close. I know it is so easy to get caught up in how differently the end of our senior year could have ended, how the spring semester could have gone, and the plethora of lifelong memories that were awaiting us, including prom, senior sports seasons, and of course, an in-person traditional graduation ceremony. I share mutual feelings with all of you, but tonight's purpose is not to mourn these last few months of chaos, disappointment, and isolation, but instead to... Remember the times we had, the times that you and me had. Remember the times we had, the times that you and me had. Like the time girls track one counties, the time you took your student of the month pictures for physics, the time you got yelled at by Todd in the cafeteria, or the time you got chased around the book closet by Fid's citrus blaster. These are the memories that will last a lifetime and the ones we should all cherish forever. So as we all embark on separate journeys today, I pray that we truly never forget the lessons that Exeter has taught us, to stand up for one another in the face of adversity and injustice. No matter what race, religion, color, sexual orientation, we all hold the power for change and to speak up. And right now, more than ever, is the time to stand with the people who want justice and change. It's our human right. For as long as we work together towards creating a better home for us and our future generations, our goal of peace and equality will surely be in sight. Although the current state of our society has been tough on all of us, our class and generation as a whole will triumph like we always do and bring about the change we desire. It has been a pleasure to represent this class and I wish nothing but the best for everyone and their future endeavors. The future has so much in store for all of us. Congratulations, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you, and now I'm proud to introduce you the salutatorian of the class of 2020. Good evening, class of 2020. My name is Lauren Posey, and it is my pleasure and great honor to deliver the salutatorian speech today. But before I do, I'd like to thank my great and wonderful support system. My parents for always believing in me, my friends for endless laughter, my teachers for giving me opportunities, and my peers for making every day in class a fun and dynamic experience. I wouldn't be where or who I am today without you all. Now, I remember being told, I think the first day of freshman year, that these four years would fly by and be over before we knew it. But I'm not sure about that. It felt like four years to me. We had to survive a lot, especially in that first confusing semester. Clutching my map of the second floor in hand for the entire first week, if Earth and Space Science didn't kill me, I was pretty sure Indian runs in gym class would. But we're finally here. We made it, and we should be proud. And at the end, I'm glad those four years felt like four years, because I gained so much from them. We spent our time at Exeter learning. We learned how to write a proof, cite textual evidence, solve for X, and make a Punnett square. We learned how to be good friends, how to pull desperate all-nighters, and why we do the things we do. I know that personally, who I was at the beginning of those years is not who I am now. We learned who we are within and around those walls, and I'll be sad to see them go. It's true, our graduating year has seen more than most. Our time at Exeter has seemingly been filled with some of the craziest things the world has to offer. And it's so easy to get caught up in would-haves, could-haves, or should-haves, to think about what might have been. But just because things could have been different doesn't mean they'd be better. We may not have gotten spring activities or a traditional ceremony, but we got to see our community, teachers, and families rally around us. We've been adopted and paraded, received signs and personal letters, and decorated our caps and gowns. We didn't have to take finals. In the midst of a crisis, we felt care and support on all sides. And while there may be much we don't have, the most important things we do. Our time in high school was such a small moment in our lives. 
four years out of what, 80, 90? It isn't that large a percentage. But as it's often said, it's not the quantity of time that determines its importance, it's the quality of that time. How we use it and how we allow it to shape us, the people we meet, the steps we take, the mindsets we have. We've come a long way already. And now we're entering another period of our lives, full of brand new opportunities, self-discovery, and learning. Our futures may be complicated, but they will be bright. Each rising generation has the chance to truly impact the world in some way. And as long as we're standing together, I believe we can do just that. We are going to do things that we don't even think are possible right now. We can stand up for what we believe in and make our voices heard. We can look out for our planet and our fellow people. We can invent the new holographic iPhone or 3D print a full course meal. Our options are limitless and it's all ours for the taking, all ours to make the most of. As I said, we became who we are within these walls. And now that we're leaving them behind, I wish you all the best. I wish you all triumph, success, and happiness. Growing with you all was a privilege. Our education was a privilege. And wherever you may go and whatever you may do, remember that. We have roots here, and they will always hold a part of us. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it, and we have so much more to do. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of Exeter's class of 2020, Chris Good. Thank you. Good evening, fellow classmates, families, faculty, and friends. While I must admit that the opportunity to record this speech prior to the ceremony has relieved a lot of nerves, I really would have liked the opportunity to stand before you tonight, shaking at the thought of speaking to such a large crowd. However, we must play the cards we are dealt, and that is why the class of 2020 is the first graduating class at Exeter to hold a virtual ceremony. This will certainly make our class one of the most memorable, but at the same time, I hope that this is the first and the last time our community holds a virtual ceremony, with classmates miles apart instead of seated right next to each other, and speeches recorded days in advance instead of delivered in the moment. I do not need to state the obvious that we are currently living through an event that nobody saw coming even a few months ago. If you read the news, you'll see experts saying that we are living through history. I disagree. History is something people can look back upon from a safe distance to analyze, to laugh about, or to cry about. No, we are living through a pandemic, and this pandemic is completely new to our generation. Nobody has been through it to advise us and tell us how to take our next steps. Despite this, we will do what humans do best in new situations, learn and adapt, for there are certainly many lessons to be learned. If ever there was an event to test our resilience, this is it. If we can navigate this, we can do anything. One of the most important lessons that I have learned over these past months has been about understanding and generosity. I've heard it said that everyone in our community is stuck in the same storm, but we are not all in the same boat. Some people's boats are more seaworthy than others, and it's impossible to know how someone else is faring without living their life, just like they can't know how you are faring without seeing things through your eyes. If we keep this in mind, we can be more understanding of the way people act and respond to different situations. While this lesson has never been more evident than now, it is something we can all work to remember when we get back to normal, however that may look. Understanding is the key to empathy, empathy is the key to kindness, and our world could always use a little bit more of that. Generosity has also never been more important than now, and in recent months, I've seen people display exceptional generosity with their time, their knowledge, their resources, and their skills. While witnessing such generosity is impressive, the effects of giving someone something, anything, with no hope for repayment is miraculous. Even the smallest gift or favor is enough to turn someone's day around or give them the hope they lack. 2020 has certainly been a year of surprises thus far, and when I left school on March 12th, I didn't think that it would be the last time I'd go to class, walk the halls, and see my teachers. Not for a moment did I consider that it would be my last day of school at school. There is an important lesson in this surprise. It's often impossible to know when you'll do something for the last time until well after the fact. 
I'm not sure if I would have gone about my day any differently had I known it was my last, but we rarely notice an event is happening for the last time in the moment, so it is important to take advantage of every opportunity. Don't be afraid to take a chance and try something new. Looking back, our greatest regrets may be, may be for the opportunities we missed, not for the things we tried on a whim. Finish each day satisfied with what you've done, not wishing you could go back. We can't get to where we want to go by staying where we are and doing what we've always done. Be creative. Turn dreams into reality. Be the change you want to see. When opportunity knocks, answer, because these opportunities may come but once. The year 2020 has certainly been full of surprises and excitement, making it a year that won't be soon forgotten. However, while these past few months have not been the ending to our senior year that we have been hoping for, our educations are not defined by three months of quarantine. It's been defined by 13 years, at Exeter or elsewhere, of memories with classmates, lessons learned in or out of the classroom, and a huge collection of experiences that make us who we are, the class of 2020. Why should we let one bad day, a rough week of class, or a few months of quarantine define our entire lives? Even though I wish our time together didn't have to end this way, I can honestly say that I've enjoyed our time learning and living together. As we say goodbye to old friends and transition into the next phases of our lives, let us remember that we aren't defined by a day, a week, a month, or even a year. We are defined by a lifetime, so let's live one worth remembering. Thank you and farewell. It is now my pleasure to introduce my good friend Brandon Rovins for a musical performance. Thank you, Brennan. Good evening, Exeter Township School District and community, and in particular, the members of the class of 2020. I'm Tom Campbell, principal at the high school. So what's next, seniors? That's a question you've been asked a million times recently. What are you doing next year? What's next? For 13 years, we've kind of told you what to do. And guess what? Now it's your turn. It's not exactly the right question, though. That question, what's next, it might imply that there's some set of directions to be followed. In many ways, though, that is how we taught you. Your math teachers gave you the formula. Your English teachers handed you the script. You followed the coach's plays. And to be fair, at our best, we did want you to be creative and original, too. Creating is part of learning. But when you're creating, you can't just ask what's next. There is no formula, no scripts, no playbook for something that's new for something that's never been done before. And now, you are standing on that threshold as individuals. We're not telling you what to do anymore. It's time to fly, Eagles. This spring has brought that into focus for all of us. As we stripped away many of our daily routines and habits, we realized that the question, what's next, wasn't the right question. We started asking other things like, what's our goal? What do we need to accomplish? What do we keep? What do we get rid of? Class of 2020, the routines of high school are behind you. Stop using our playbooks, our directions, our recipes, our scripts. Take the knowledge and skills that those experiences have given you and start creating, for real. Ask yourselves the right questions and you will create great lives. There is genius, compassion, curiosity, and creativity in this class. 
And the world needs that from you. You owe it to yourselves and those people who love and support you to reach your full potential. Exeter Township Class of 2020, we are proud of you and expect great things. Dr. Phillips, it is my honor to present to you the 65th graduating class of Exeter Township Senior High School. The members of the class of 2020 have met the requirements set forth by the Exeter Township School District and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and it is my recommendation that they receive their diplomas as a representation of their hard work, determination, and commitment. Congratulations, seniors. It is my pleasure to now introduce Dr. Robert Phillips, Superintendent of Exeter Township School District. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. Welcome to the Exeter Township Board of School Directors, administrators, teachers, and staff, as well as all the family and friends that are celebrating this momentous occasion with us. I would like to offer a special welcome to our 2020 Exeter Township Senior Class. It is my honor to say a few words about this 2020 graduating class. Having gotten to see this group grow up from their freshman year to this moment has been a pleasure. While the time has gone by far too quickly, this group has made its mark on the history of our school district. Whether in the classroom, in the many competitions that they have excelled in, or my interactions in student forums and meetings with this group, they have proven themselves special. This senior class has shown that it exhibits leadership. It is comprised of young men and young women that care for each other, and are thoughtful in the decisions they make. These skills will serve them well in their future endeavors. These individuals have represented themselves well in the classroom, in extracurricular activities, and in the community. This fine group of seniors have had to rely on the attributes of grit, flexibility, adaptability, and determination over the years to overcome obstacles on their journey to get to this point today. No matter your chosen field, you are positioned to excel and achieve all your goals and dreams. A chapter in your journey closes today, but a new chapter is beginning. What will it look like? When you write your story, make sure to make it a story you can be proud of and one that will make your family and Exeter Township proud. Be sure to take the time to thank those that have helped you along the way. You have accomplished your goal and made it to this point in your educational career with hard work and effort. However, you did not do it alone. Family, friends, teachers, coaches, advisors, and mentors have all helped you get to this point. As you are now about to become a graduate and your future is beginning, use what you have learned, the skills you have acquired to go forward and change the world. No matter your chosen field, no matter your circumstances, you can make a difference. Settle for nothing less. And now, Mr. Campbell, I accept the class of 2020 for graduation, and I proudly present this class for final acceptance to the president of the Exeter Township School District Board of School Directors, Dr. David Hemberger. Thank you, Dr. Phillips, and on behalf of the Exeter Township Board of School Directors, I extend our most sincere welcome and congratulations to the family and friends of the class of 2020. As we congratulate this class and document their accomplishments, so must we recognize the families, the teachers, support staff, and administrators who have provided a rich and diverse educational experience for our graduates. Your efforts have laid an important foundation for their future and prepared them for the challenges of a complex and often unpredictable world. Our congratulations and thanks to all of you in shaping these students into the capable and contributing adults and citizens they will become. Despite re recent circumstances, we need to remain optimistic and hopeful for an even better and brighter future for our graduating seniors. Their experience in adapting to these unanticipated conditions will have made them stronger and more aware of the need to work together as a society for the benefit for all. For our graduates, 
the unfortunate curtailment of your senior year will last indelibly in your memory. But like any misfortune, lessons are learned. Your class has come to understand that there are no guarantees in life. No matter how hard you plan and organize, some parts of our lives are truly out of our control. Learning how to adapt to change, remaining optimistic and resilient despite adversity, working collaboratively with others to solve problems. Uh, these are important credentials that you as Exeter graduates can, can now add to your resume. As a result, you're better prepared and, and equipped with a unique set of life skills to face the unexpected. So to the class of 2020, we honor and congratulate you on your accomplishments. And as you take your next steps into a world beyond Exeter High School, we offer our best wishes. We look forward to your successes and we'll rely on your positive impact and contributions in whatever endeavor you've elected to pursue. So now with the recommendation of our principal, Mr. Campbell, and with the approval of our district superintendent, Dr. Phillips, the school board has received the list of seniors who have met the district standards and the Pennsylvania State Board requirements for graduation. Therefore, on behalf of the Exeter Township Board of School Directors, I now proudly accept the recommendation for the class of 2020 to graduate. Thank you, Dr. Hamburger. And now for the most important part of the ceremony, it is my honor to call my classmates, the graduates of the Exeter Township Class of 2020, to our virtual stage to receive our diplomas. Andre Marquise Aaron. Yusuf Mohammed Abdelsadek. Neha L.S. Ada. Tucker James Ahrens. Haley Marie Atkins. Austin Michael Ament. Dirk Harry Amal Jr. Erica Jean Amoroso. Divjo Singh Anand. Carly Amelia Angelucci. Andres Manuel Arroyo. Yes. Sarah Abigail Avram. Yes. Nathan Jacob Bear. Elena Kate Baldwin. Victoria Angel Bartley. Alexa Sky Barwis. Abigail Isabella Bards. Andrew Robert Bauscher. Lauren Christine Beam. Macy Anna Becker. <laughs> Isabella Elise Beggs. Hunter Scott Benfield.
Nicole David Bursick. Caitlin Michaela Bleacher. Sage Michelle Polonsky. Tara Sky Bornert. Megan Marie Borton. Angelique Nicole Boston. Blaze Thomas Botley. Benjamin Scott Bowers. Jillian Christine Bowers. Aiden Daniel Bowman. Nathan Thomas Brady. Jack Thomas Breen. Brittany Carol Bremer. Andrick Gerardo Brenna. <laughs> Garrett George Brennan. Maria Isabel Brazita. Jade Soleil Philemon Brown. Lena Ingrid Bulow. Catherine Elaine Beninsky. Carrie Suzanne Burkhart. Emily Rose Burns. Mason Donald Cambria. Sabrina Emily Cambria. Abigail Elizabeth Campbell. Zachary Campbell. Emily Nicole Capazello. Jenna Lynn Caesar. Malachi Nazir Choi. Nicholas Andre Ziabatoni. David William Serba. Haley Marie Serempe. Alan Alexandro Cisneros. John Taylor Coates Jr. Raiden Christopher Cohen. Adelise Nicole Colazzo. Ryan Daniel Connard. Michaela Alexis Crawford. McKenna Catherine Cress.
David Michael Crone, Joshua Patrick Cupid, Ashton Clay Datko, Rowan Lewis Datko. Carson Riley Dautry, Matthew Nakai David Heiser, Hope Maesia Abigail Davis, Jordan Elizabeth. Davis Switch. Anna Marie Deleski Robert Charles Damata Taraj Jaden DeShields. <laughs> Jacob Paul DeVage. Owen Jackson DeGardi. Mason A. Doffelmeyer. Madeline Page Dahl. Morgan Sienna Donati. Evan Christian Donaghy. Riley David Messick Donnelly. Sophia Noemi Dos Diaz. Haley Marie Duncan. Sarah Marie Dunkelberger. James Gary Dykes. Gabriel Lane Eagle Navalika Julissa Echevarria Ella Victoria Ellert Caitlin Olivia Ellisher Gabriel Matthew Epler Ryan Christopher Espenson Hannah May Etley Kaylee Jolene Fazig Dylan John Fossbender Dylan Patrick Feeney Aaron N. Fike Giovanni Carlo Fernandez Kelly Lee Fetter Jason Mario Fisher Brooke Marnie Fitzgerald
Elijah M. Flagler Abigail May Floyd Olivia LaRue Fluke Dominic Michael Fernando Joseph Hayden Fortney Avery Naya Foster Summer Lee Fox Brandon Alexander France Travis Allen Fry Jordan Tyler Fry Zachary Andrew Filipowicz Reese Aaron Ganster Reese Allen Ganter Jason Kenneth Garvin Jr. Michaela Rebecca Gatto Spencer Nolan Gehringer Mason Dean Gilbert Kyle Nathaniel Gold Tyler Bradley Goldsboro Anthony Robert Gottschall Brett Nathaniel Gogler Haley Ann Grawl Araceli Elizabeth Graves Mason Robert Grubb Meadow Marie Gruber Taylor Mary Gunderson Angela Delaney Hake Bailey Allen Haas Ryan Drew Hafer Jacob Conrad Hagmeyer Jade Nayana Han William Joseph Halferty Erica Lynn Hallam Elizabeth Michaela Hamilton Kyla Janae Hammock Rachel Elizabeth Harding Jaden Lloyd Harrison Sierra Paige Hartline Taylor Joe Henderson 
Brandon Alexander Henry. Sean Joseph Henry. Amaya Liz Hernandez. Julia Elizabeth Hickman. Angel Lee Hoagland. Aaliyah Grace Hoffman. Luke William Hoffman. Cody Jacob Holly. Jack F. Hopta, Elijah Todd Huey, Samuel Jacob Hyman, Amanda Rose Iswell, Olivia Rose Jacobs. John Cody Jarrett. Alexander Call Javier. Alexis Marie Jimenez. James Edward Johnson III. Madison Elizabeth Juck. Isabella Mary Karstein. Evan Christopher Karsotis. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria Abasola Adajimok Kahinde Jacob Matthew Keller Allison Lynn Kerper. Rachel Arlene Kerr. Grace Nathambi Kisawa. Matthew Aaron Klein. Matthew Richard Klein. Wyatt Tristan Klopp. Joshua Townsend Klusowitz. Drew Ann Kofke. Matthew Carl. Konopelski, Dylan Michael Koth, Tori Angelica Kramer, Elizabeth Ann Kretz, Rick Do Lay, Catherine Elizabeth Lees. Sean Nicholas Lee.
Brian Tanner Levan. Madison Nicole Levengood. Aaliyah Madison Linfoot. Jamie Morgan Long. Alyssa Julia Losick. Mary Lynn Linoff. Elizabeth Hu Lysak. Kaylin Ann McCree Grant. Ella K. Maley. Kelsey Ann Malone. Katrina Lee Marquard. Frederick Reed Martin, Jr. Jada Alexis Marie Masteller. Gabriella Lynn Matz. Catherine Veronica McCullough. James Ronald McDonald. Cassidy Sandra McGee. Jordan Robert McGinley. Jaden Andrew McIntyre. Catherine Elizabeth McKelvey. Bridget Ann McNish. Carlina Mejia. I love you. Louis Joel Melendez. Michelle Mesquita. Ryan Anthony Mikowski. Joshua Caleb Millard. Christopher J. Miller. Jalen Michael Miller. Miranda Kathleen Miller. Ryan Joseph Miller. Simone Gabrielle Miller. Addison Milleron. Matthew Daniel Mitchell. Amber Tatiana Morgan. Ryu Kai Morgan.
Justin Bradley Mata Jr. Bran Melissa Maurer. Hunter Matthew Moyer. Samuel Adam Moyer. Kelsey Nicole Newman. Avery Marie Nidrowski. Brandon Tyler Noecker. Christopher Joseph Niles. Adrian Joel Oliveras. Joshua D. Pack. Jacob J. Polange. Skylar Ray Parsons. Krishna Prakash Patel. Michael J. Pollock. Elizabeth Pena. Gianna Marie Penaranda. Aubrey Pence. Alexa J. Pearsall. Colin Toshio Emil Pinkerton. Brayden Taylor Pitts. Francis M. Polachek. Wender Polanco. Abigail J. Powell. Connor Powell. Gavin H. Pugh. Kendra A. Qualia. Taylor P. Rafe Snyder. Michael Allen Rambo. Diana L. Ramirez Garcia. <laughs> Kyla Angelique Ramos. Adesh Partep Ranhawa.
Veronia E. Retab. Tyler Andrew Rausch. Julie A. Rears. Henry Theodore Randall Redmond. Leanna Elaine Redmond. Joseph F. Reeser. Owen C. Richards. Evan James Rivera. Nakaya Jade Rivera. Juan Enrique Rivera Diaz. Connor Gregory Rodolph. Abby Rosendale. Brian Andrew Rourke. Brandon L. Robins. Margaret Rudolph. Jacob Salvador Ruiz. Noel E. Rutherford. Yay! Leah E. Santangelo. Mitchell Dalton Scurrency. Shahid Badi Nadir Theodore Scarvers. Mason W. Schaefer. Nicholas R. Schaefer. Jada O. Shainer. Cole Everett Schlegel. Madison L. Schlott. Lauren M. Scholl. Cassidy N. Schrantz. Congratulations, Morgan Schrantz. Morgan T. Schrantz. Chloe N. Charade. Rachel M. Schwenk. Rebecca L. Schwenk. Sorry, the side. Tanner E. Schwenk. Devin Q. Scott. Joshua L. Schaefer. Madeline Nicole Schaefer. <laughs> Haley Shaw. Joshua D. Schustack. Mohammed J. 
Scylla. Emma, Irene, liked upon Sims. Hannah, J, Sonica. Carolyn M. Smith. Sarah M. Smith. Harry M. Snyder III. Marissa L. Snyder. Emma E. Stapley. Jacob A. Stewart. Magdalene May Stratton. Jade L. Strauss. Audrey E. Strauss. Bianca E. Strobel. Jonathan Spencer Stroman. Timothy B. Struck. Ryan Swavely. Michael A. Sidor III. Donovan M. Tracy. Jarrett M. Trapani. Brian Trong. Chase Anthony Terzinski. Ariana Rose Unruh. Robert S. Unruh. Fatima Bragazzi. John P. Wagner. Amber P. Warshaw. Alyssa P. Watson. Alexis Grace Webb. Jessica H. Widener. Paige E. Weil. Nicole J. Wenzel. 
Gavin M. West, Jared M. Wiant, Madison R. Wooliver. Alexandria Charmaine Williams. <laughs> Charles Chan Williams. Megan S. Wilson. Lakin A. Wisner. Brooke S. Wisniewski. Amy E. Wittig. Benjamin D. Wood. Cheyenne L. Woody. Autumn May Woodowich. Jason Todd Yoakum Jr. Haley R. Ziggenfuss. Allison A. Zerby. <laughs> Scott B. Ziegler. Oh! What? Christopher Robert Good. Lauren O. Posey. Jonathan Garcia. of our virtual graduation ceremony tonight is the turning of the tassel. Will you please join me to signify the beginning of a new chapter and the change in our designation from students to alumni, my fellow students, please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, Exeter Township, Class of 2020. I just wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020, and I want to wish you all the best of luck in all of your future pursuits. Take care, and God bless. Behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. Within you, all you need. We are so proud of you, Exeter class of 2020. 
sending you my love and pride on your well-deserved success. Now on to the next chapter. Congratulations, class of 2020. You're on your way. Exeter class of 2020, go explore your world. Congrats from the Keeblers. Hey you, yes you, the Exeter class of 2020. I am so proud of you, woohoo! Congratulations Exeter class of 2020. Best of luck, uh, we miss you, good luck. Hello class of 2020. Mr. Burkhart and Mrs. Burkhart wanna say congratulations and welcome in joining us as Exeter alumni. Best wishes in your future, congratulations guys. Good luck. Hi, Exeter class of 2020. It's Mrs. Alinsky, fifth grade from Riften. This is your day. You've made it, and I'm so proud of each and every one of you and your accomplishments. You are off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So what are you waiting for? Get on your way. Good luck, class of 2020. I wish you all the best. To all my players on the class of 2020, I really just want to take a time to thank you for all your hard work and dedication. We definitely made history this year, and that's a testament to your loyalty and persistence. To all my students, thanks for putting up with me and letting me be part of your story. I wish you all the best in the next chapter of your life. Best of luck. Class of 2020, you guys have been amazing. Your flexibility and your resilience will get you far. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of you. Now go spread those wings. Hey there, class of 2020. Congratulations. Best wishes as you move forward. Hey, class of 2020. Mr. Hughes here. Congratulations. I wish you all the best. Take care and live well. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. With much love and much respect, class of 2020 nailed it. Congratulations, seniors. I remember so many of you as readers from the Lorraine Library. I'm so proud of all of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. You may be going into the unknown, but some things never change. The pride of your teachers in having taught you and the love and support of your family and friends standing with you today. Congratulations, class. Mrs. Gillum. Hello, class of 2020. Mr. Glasick here out of the guidance department with Cross Country coaching staff. You did it. And you did it these last couple months through the most challenging of circumstances that I've ever seen in education. Always remember how you've overcome things through good times and through some very, very, very difficult times. I wish you the best that life has to offer. Hi class of 2020, Mrs. Motley here wishing you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations to you, the class of 2020. You made it! Remember to keep your heads high and just keep fighting. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations! Congrats class of 2020, you did it and we are all so very proud of you. Way to go class of 2020. Seems like just yesterday you were entering the junior high as young 7th graders. It's been a pleasure to watch your achievements over the past few years. Congratulations to each of you and best wishes for continued success. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you for all of your accomplishments and good luck with your future endeavors. Go Lorraine. Congratulations, seniors, Exeter class of 2020 on achieving this momentous milestone. My wish for you is that you have a flourishing life that you move forward, always learning and always growing. Congratulations. Hey there, this is Mr. Rocco, um, one of the new math teachers. I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish the seniors, class of 2020, um, hearty congratulations. Um, good luck on whatever you are planning to do after high school. And um, I'm sure you'll make us all proud. Good luck, graduates. Hey, class of 2020. Congratulations. This will definitely be a year to remember. Um, it's been neat watching you guys grow from sixth graders in Rife that I had in Riften. Um, for those that remember, um, I remember all of you and I'm so super proud of you. And it's just been really neat watching you guys grow over the past six years. So again, congratulations. Enjoy this time and best of luck in your future. Hello class of 2020 and congratulations to you. 
My name is Renee Mosser. I'm the principal of Jacksonwald, and I just wanted to take a moment to con personally congratulate you on your graduation. I know you didn't anticipate the year ending like it did, but I have to say, out of all of the graduating years, your year goes down in history. The class of 2020 will never be forgotten. And I have to say, you are the innovators and the resilient leaders because you have shown a way to continue staying connected while having to be so distant from each other. So with that said, I ask that you take that in and find the joy in this situation. Happiness comes with circumstance. We're happy because someone does something for us or someone gives us something. But true joy comes in being content in all circumstances. This time will pass. And what I want you to step back and look at is how you have grown and how have you developed resiliency through this time. You have many great achievements set before you. So don't dwell on what you're missing, but rather look ahead and find the joy because you need to Stand with a tall back, chin up, heart open, and be the best version of you. The world needs you. There's only one of you, and we're depending on it. So congratulations to all of you. We are Exeter Proud. To all of my seniors, I just want to let you know that I'm going to miss you terribly. Wonderful things await you. Go out, make me proud, come back and tell me all about it. Hasta pronto. Congratulations to the Exeter Township School District Class of 2020. Good luck in all your future endeavors. Go Eagles! Congratulations Class of 2020 Senior Skip Day Champions. Congratulations Class of 2020. Wish you the best. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Good luck to you in the future, and just remember how proud we all are of you. The class of 2020 rocks, congratulations. It's been so long since you were fifth and sixth graders, but I'm so proud of you. Hi class of 2020. I just wanted to say congratulations and that I'm so proud of you and best of luck in the future. Congratulations class of 2020. Your future is so bright for you. And remember, only rainbows after rain. The sun will always come again. Hi, this is Mrs. Gatani from Lorraine. I'm a first grade teacher and I just want to congratulate you and have warm wishes for a happy and successful future. Good luck to y'all. Congratulations, class of 2020. Remember what we taught you at the junior high. Work hard, play hard. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys should be so proud of yourselves. I can't wait to see the amazing things that you all accomplish. Stay in touch and stay safe. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Best of luck in the future, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go out and be the best you you can be. Yay! Congratulations, class of 2020. Love, peace, and joy to you all. Remember your past, enjoy the present, and good luck in the future. Congratulations, seniors. Hi, seniors. It's Mrs. Whitney from Lorraine Elementary. I'm here to just congratulate you on your upcoming graduation. Class of 2020, congrats, seniors. To the class of 2020, take care of yourselves, for there's only one you. May peace, health, and happiness be yours throughout your lives. Take care. Thank you, class of 2020. Amazing students like you are why we love living in and working at Exeter. Congratulations. Congratulations. Felicitaciones, Clase de 2020. Learn, laugh, and eat tacos every day. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Remember, you've got to push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Good luck. Hi, Class of 2020. It's Mrs. Botley from Rankton. My, you have grown since those days. Congratulations and go be the shining stars that you are. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're very proud of you. Best wishes for your future. You got this. Congratulations, class of 2020. If you see me in the grocery store after quarantine, you better not hide in the produce aisle. Come give me a hug. We love you. 
congratulations, seniors, from Mrs. Menley. Congrats, 2020 seniors. You guys are certainly going to have a story to tell someday to your kids. And I can honestly say I'd rather be in school with you to wind out in your school year than dealing with this. Congrats. You did it in a way that nobody else ever has or ever. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Special congratulations to those of you who went to Lorraine Elementary School. I wish you all the best. Take care and good luck in the future. To the class of 2020, thank you. I've enjoyed watching you all grow up and into a great group of people. Happy graduation day. Seniors, we've given you the tools to think and read and learn responsibly. Use them to your advantage. Know what you stand for and do so proudly. Congratulations. Hey everybody, I just wanted to say congratulations to you, the class of 2020. We're gonna miss you a lot here at Exeter, but the world needs changing and you're just the people to do it. I can't wait to see what you do. Congratulations again. Congratulations, class of 2020. Well done and best wishes in the future. Hey seniors, remember that every day is a new adventure. Be sure to follow your heart and make the most of each one. Congratulations. Congratulations, Exeter Senior High Class of 2020. Yay! Good job, seniors. Congratulations. Seniors, you are finally here. You've made it, you have the recipe for success, and you have all of the ingredients. Now go out there and make something awesome. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Congratulations, dear seniors. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. May your path be filled with terrific health, much happiness, lots of adventures, and good fortune. Hey, congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck moving on with your future ventures. Remember that an education is the only thing you can get that can never be taken away. Hey seniors, Mrs. Doherty here, Riften's PE teacher. Be bold, be kind, be safe. You are the future. I am so proud of all of you. From here on out, please find your passion, find what you love, and do it with all of your heart because you're going to change the world. Congratulations. I just want to say, seniors this year, I want to say I'm proud of every one of you and I uh, wish you all the well in the future. And fly eagles fly, seniors 2020. Hi seniors, it's been a year like nobody else has ever seen, but you've made it through it. Congratulations and I wish you all the best in your future. Congratulations class of 2020, you did it. Good luck to you, we miss you, gotta come visit. Congratulations, senior class of 2020. Mrs. Trostel here from Riften, fifth grade. Best wishes in all your future endeavors. Remember to always believe in yourself, even if it seems like no one else does, and embrace your failures. Sometimes they lead to your greatest successes. Best wishes and hugs from Mrs. T to you. Hi to all my seniors. Wherever you go throughout the world and whatever you do in your future, just make sure you do it with passion. Love you guys. Hi class of 2020, congratulations. I wish you love, success, and happiness in all of your future plans. Love, Mrs. Lucas, but you might remember me as Miss Hoko. Buona futura, senores. Molte lucrio et adike e caselli. Stay strong and exercise, congratulations. None of us are likely to forget your class anytime soon. I hope you go out and make positive change in the future. Congratulations and we'll miss you. Congratulations, seniors. Hello, class of 2020. It's Mr. and Mrs. Wegman here. And we just wanna say congratulations and we are so proud of you and we wish you the best on all of your future adventures. Congratulations, we're proud of you. Class of 2020, it's been an absolute pleasure being your class advisor these last four years. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I know you're all going to go off and do amazing things. Know you'll be missed and go and make the world exactly what you want it to be. Hey class of 2020, you've been through a lot and you deserve all the success that's coming to you. We're proud of you, best of luck.